guys, so it's me, the best friends, and it's time to get ready for Halloween. And, wow, I don't know why it looks like it's glowing. But it's really cute what I'm going to show you guys what to do. And it's really easy and simple. Um, you're just going to need um, this bucket here. And I'll show you an example of what I mean. I'm basically going to decorate it up. So when you go trick or treat, they'll give you lots of candy. And, yeah. So let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so here's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to make. As you guys see the jar over there, it says sweets. And basically, um, you can glue on those stuff on the jar and put some sweets in there. And I'm gonna, just going to show you how to do that in a bucket. So it's going to be really easy and simple. And I think so. It's a really cute DIY. And there's also a perler bead pumpkin. Um, you guys can probably check that out in a video on YouTube, I guess. And... Um, there's a bucket there that Natalie bought, and she actually made it up like the little DIY video, like DIY. And also, there's something store bought there for Halloween. And yeah, so let me just show you guys a closer look on the other side of the jar that she made. Here it is. As you guys can see, there's a ghost and it says boo. And yeah, so it's really easy and simple. So, all you're going to need for this is. So if I were you, I would go up online if you have a computer somewhere and I would just print out some pictures and search up Halloween cartoon pictures. If that helps you, you can do that and just print it out and then I'll tell you what else to do. And also if you don't have a printer and don't have a computer, then you can just draw them and make it your own. And I'm going to actually do both. I'm going to draw and I'm going to be printing it out. Then you're going to be needing white paper and a glue stick. And you're also going to be needing a Sharpie just to design some stuff. You're also going to be needing different colors if you're not going to be using a printer. I suggest using different colors just to make it a little bit colorful. And you're also just going to need a pencil and an eraser. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is... Um, before printing anything, just to make uh, life easier, if you don't have a printer or anything, I'm going to start off by writing boo, so you're like scaring. So, let's start off by writing boo. I'm not the greatest drawer, so please don't mind that, please. And you can make it all cricket. I know I did it cricket, but... You could even do that on purpose if you're not such a great drawer, but I'm just going to color it in. And basically just continue coloring all the letters. Make sure while you do this, you make it really like dark. So it looks a little bit, you know, Halloween themed. I know this is much smaller than this one, but you wanna make it look a little bit creative and crazy. And basically just make it your own way. But like I said, I'm going to be printing it as well. So I will be doing that after I draw the stuff I need. Now, you guys can do it another way. Ah, my bucket just almost fell. Um, I really like Natalie's way as well. You could basically like just... Yeah, I'm not great at this. But if you guys want, you guys can do the same thing as Natalie did. I'm not sure how exactly she did it, but... I'm just going to keep it my way, I guess. I'm going to do this. But you guys can do it either way. I know my B is crazy, but like I said, I'm really bad in this. But uh, you could just copy the picture of how she wrote it if you guys don't like it this way. So now it's time to just start cutting it up. So I'm going to be cutting the black one. Just basically cut it. You could even cut it like, like you know, in your own way or just cut it straight. So here's some of my designs that I printed. Here they are. And here's how my boo sign came out. I didn't show you before, but this is how it looks like. So you guys can copy the same designs that I did. I searched these up on Google as you guys saw online. Okay, so get your bucket next to you right now and your glue stick. Um, you're gonna have to get your cut up pieces right now. And you're basically just gonna take your glue stick. This is really easy and simple. And you wanna place all your stuff on there. So I'm just gonna show you um, one time on how to do this because it's really easy. So you basically just want to take your um, paper or whatever it was, just uh, put glue on the back of it 
like normal, like normally people would do, and just do that. Until it's all gluey and sticky. And now I'm just going to glue it on, you see, just like that. So you want to do the same process, and I just basically took my glue stick and glued it on, on the back of this, and I'm just going to put it right over here. Mm, yeah, that'll be good space. And you can basically just decorate it up and stick glue it wherever you want. And I might change some spots if I don't like it. So I'll show you guys once it's done. Okay, guys, so this is my finished product and how I like to decorate it. And as you guys can see, it's how I decorated it. I think so. it's super cute, though. If you guys go trick-or-treat, you guys say trick-or-treat, and you'll see a lot of designs. And you could add even more. I think so. I left a little blank here, but that's fine. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys like DIY videos. Subscribe for more. And comment down below if you like Halloween or if you're ending up making this one. Post it on our Instagram and use the hashtag name of best friends or just tag us. See so ya. Yeah, bye.